Sure, you trying to give me diabetes over here? What's your name, honey? Hold that thought. Yeah. Yeah, Sergeant to 730. <laughs> Throwing a couple of chocolate glaze in there, huh? Sprinkles, not something like that? No, not you. Just okay, but it doesn't really flatter The fact that I can play Cause you are so stuck in my head By the time you might have cried Yeah, to one of the front plus 50% of the door. That's what you... That's what you... Yes, it is. What? All right, 40%. 30? Jesus Christ, all right. 25%, all right? Yeah, 25. Okay, good. Yeah. Would you relax if you have a stroke? You got a pen? All right, Velvet Underground, Lou Reed, the Smiths, Bowie. You sure about this? Just give me the money. Do here. You know, the Philadelphia Historical Society bristled at first. They finally agreed to let us rebuild on this site. Well, that's no small victory, Bill, believe me. But what most people fail to realize is that it's in the very nature of all things to change. Same as in life, as in carpentry. What we build today and hold dear, tomorrow eventually decays. All we can really do to combat that is keep the past in its place by preserving it, move forward, and eventually build something new, a symbiosis of the two structures. Hello. Gee, it's Mike. Hey, man, uh, can I call you back? I'm in the middle of something. I didn't know if you'd heard. Kurt Cobain, he's dead. What? Yeah, it happened this morning. Dad. Blew his face off with a shotgun. Proves my theory. All the greats, they're all cursed. Oh, come on, Mike. He didn't die in a plane crash, okay? And he blew his brains out. It's not a curse. If anything, it's a cure. What's the matter with you, man? Are you building one of your bird things again? Uh, no. Two and a half years and still with these bird houses. If you want to win her back, build her a Ferrari. I'm not building a bird house, okay, Mike? Sometimes I just don't get you. Look, I'll see you at seven, okay? This here, these archways. Ladies and gentlemen, Handy Coffins. How's my favorite band, huh? Your only band. Still my favorite, sweetheart. Where you been? Tying things up for the tour. Hmm? What's it look like out there? They want you on stage in five minutes. Good looking crowd, too. We're gonna make some big money tonight. For real? No, there's nobody. Right. How are we supposed to take any money if there's nobody coming? I was yanking his chain, Brainiac. How many beers is that? Huh? What'd I tell you? What'd I say about drinking before you play? What did I say? You almost sugar to mama look drunk, you. You're on stage in five minutes. Five minutes. Hey, don't puke on the audience like last time, huh? Hey, Mike. How about we switch and you play bass, I play lead. Clean it up, you got a deal. Okay, Captain Xanax. Get the list. What's he doing? I want to point out 
some special people in the house. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, give it up. Our drummers, mom and dad. Okay, we got it. drunk and disorderly, hard to argue with that one, urinating in public, creating a fire hazard, and he fined us 250 extra bucks for scaring old people. Since when is that against the fucking law? What? That's for later. Uh-huh. Trust me, you gotta do it. You need to scrub it tonight, Lee. I know my wood, I don't need to scrub. Uh-huh. Trust me, the acid leak through the wood, then it's goodbye, drunk kid. Don't look at me. The song later, not the need. Like are you, I, this do not, are you kidding me? Use warm water and disinfectant. That'll do the trick. What are you, pee chemist? All right, yes, I understand. I tell you, Mike, he was looking me right in the eye. You're saying he did it on purpose? Yeah. My cousin Dave pissed on a Christmas tree one year. Got drunk, thought he was on a lawn. Kodak moment, thank you for sharing that special memory. He's out for six weeks. Six weeks, what about the gigs? What about the gigs? We gotta go, I can't cancel him with one week's notice. So he's out of commission, for sure. Yes, for sure. The guy's got third-degree burns on his hands and his schlong. Okay, so what are we supposed to do, Frank? What's Flea up to? Is he still with the Peppers? All right, look, I'm gonna make some calls. We'll have somebody by Sunday night. Frank, in two days? Yes, in two days. You kidding me? From here to Manhattan, everybody knows Big Frank. That's what we're worried about. Ha-ha, uh -huh, okay? Just look, at, you trust me for once, okay? Would everybody just trust me? Yeah. That's what you said before the show at Rikers Island. Oh, no, it's my fault that the warden suspended conjugals? The tree smelled so bad that year. We opened a presents in the kitchen. Could I possibly get some pie? Lee, you haven't told us what you thought about the sermon this morning. Uh, could you pass the green beans, please? The answer's not in the green beans, son. The answer's not in church either, Dad. Well, your mother and I have some news. Doreen? Your father and I have decided to sell the house. Hey, <laughs> outstanding. What? Wait, wait. We need some time for us. Oh, okay, hold on. Slow down. I mean, we've been we've been living in this place since I was seven years old. You're 23. Okay, so that's it. No discussion. We discussed it quite a bit. Did you expect Dad never to retire? And Lee, you know how much I've dreamed of taking a cross country drive. I know. I know. It's it's just that uh, you got a problem, son. Just lay it out. Well, I'm in the middle of a project right now. Yeah, well, you're always in the middle of something. No, I'm gonna finish this one. I just need a little more time. Yeah, well, it's mine when you're done, kid. I've got a space to fill next to my Versace couch. That, and, like, Lee, could you do that chestnut stain I like? Well, don't get your motor all revved up, Elliot. It won't make any difference. Okay, what, what's, what's that supposed to mean? It means you might as well just clear all those projects out of the garage because you're not gonna finish them anyhow. That's not true. It is true. I mean, you've abandoned every project you've started. You know, when you were 12 years old, you told me that you felt closer to God working on a bench than sitting on one, so I let you stay home on Sundays and I made excuses down at services. And did I ever complain? Not once. Because I'll tell you what, that's not what bothers me. You know what really bothers me? Here we go. None of it ever amounted to a damn thing. None of it. I mean, you never followed through on a single piece. Why is it you're so scared to finish anything? 
Okay, uh, how about I finish my potatoes, huh? <laughs> All right. You think about this, smart ass. Carl. Now you and those drunk friends of yours are gonna hit the road to do your little rock and roll show, right? Now what happens if one of those pumpkin heads blows his dick off? I mean, you hit a snag like that, you're just gonna quit? And maybe you'll be fine. But just like those birdhouses, you'll find something to screw things up just when everything's going right for you. Lee, all Dad's saying is that you execute a solid plan of action and you get results. Thank you, Elliot. I mean plan and follow through. All you gotta do is look in the driveway to see that everything Dad taught me is right. And there's spear wisdom from the prodigal son. Hey, hey, now, Elliot's not perfect. He got a little mixed up with girls and he drank too much a few times, but he had a compass. I'm telling you something, and that compass told him when it was time to commit to something serious. I wish you had the balls to come out and say it. What pisses you off is what I'm doing, not how I'm doing it. I mean, you, you want me to take the safe direction, you know? Guaranteed success, but that's not what I want. I want something different. The, the kind of success that Morgan Stanley and Citibank can't offer, and that's what pisses you off. Lee. No, no. A and here I am. You know, a c constant reminder to you that you wanted to do something different, and you didn't. You know, and, 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 and maybe everything turned out okay. What burns you is that your whole life was colored by numbers. You know, you, you got what you thought you wanted, Dad, but you know what? Actually, you settled. You settled. And you know what? Because you, you followed through. You followed through into your own fucking little box. Don't you tell me how I... Enough! I would like to have one Sunday that did not end up in shouting. Can we just once celebrate what we are and what we have rather than what we aren't and what we don't have, all right? Yeah, maybe we, uh, maybe we can do that. At the new house. Mom, could you pass the locale dressing? What time is it? Quarter after nine. I told people to be here by nine. Jesus, I have a date at ten. Your hand lotion does not count as a date. So my parents are going on the great Winnebago tour. My fucking asshole of a brother is happy to see me like thrown out on my ass. When are they leaving? Six weeks. Gotta get a job. Lee. Don't even think about it. You're not bagging. Okay, guys, don't give up on your rock and roll dreams, all right? We'll just do a show, we'll get a record deal, we'll go on tour, and once we're on the road, whether Mike likes it or not, I'll, you know, I'll be able to earn some money and maybe pay my rent, huh? Be nice if it happens that way. It's got to happen that way. Hey, man. I'm working on this new song. I was up all night scribbling some things. Well, that's great, Mike. You're uh, a genius. Really? No, I mean, they say geniuses have sloppy handwriting, so can I be in your band? My dad's always talking about how I'll get smarter if I hang out with more smart people. You want some? Um, uh... Nick, where's your base? I was supposed to bring my base. Yeah. Those were all the tryouts? Those freaks? Yeah, except for this friend of Lee's. Friend of a friend of a friend. I haven't even met her. Her? Girls don't play bass. Pixies, Sonic Youth, Smashing Pumpkins. Buy some albums, dumbass. Is she coming, yes or no? I don't know. Great. Just ask him. I'm just answering, Mike. All right, all right, ladies, huh? Look. We got no bass player, so we're canceling the gigs. No, no way. Yeah, we can, Lee. We got no choice. No, what if this is some kind of sign? I mean, a bad omen. Oh, don't start, Mike. A curse! I mean, Mike, you gotta be famous first before you can be cursed, okay? This isn't a sign, it's a test. Are we all gonna give up that easy? Man. I don't have to beg for my job back at the store. No, no, no. We just, we just tried that much harder, okay? It's not over, not yet. I didn't say it was over. Can we all stop acting like such a bunch of goddamn pussies here? I heard pussy and I figured you meant me, so I didn't knock. <clears throat> are, are you Trixie? Go, speed racer, go. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm Lee. Uh, didn't know you were gonna make it. Neither did I. Where can I plug in? Where can I? 
Uh, that, that's Big Frank. He's our manager. Big Frank, huh? You making up for a little hot dog? <laughs> what are you laughing at, Pinky? Look, you can just uh, plug on into the PA. That's, uh, that's Donnie. That's Mike. Hey, guys. So, Look, uh, it's late. Uh, can we just jump on in? We'll chat later. All action, no talk, huh? All right. You, uh, don't have any aspirations to switch now and again, do you? Well, no, Rockstar. Depends on what you mean by switch. Oh, my God. I, uh... Instruments. Uh, forget it. Uh, let's just play uh, Wish You Were Dead. Whoa, 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 whoa! We're not doing that song. It was BD. But before Donnie. Grab your little microphone, big boy. Let's play. So, uh, what'd you think? Not bad. Need a new singer, though. Give me a break. <laughs> Kidding, I liked it. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be big. Real big. Yeah, Night Ranger big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, excuse me. Yo, Trix, hey, uh, listen. You know what a gig is for the next three weeks? We uh, rehearse till Friday, and then uh, two fabulous, fun-filled weeks on the road with the Handy Coffins. Yeah, and then after that, depending on schedule, and if you like us and we like you, we can see where it goes from there. All right, rock and roll. Cool. So, um, when did you get your hands on your first instrument? <laughs> uh, look, guys, I hate to cut this short, but I was late for something like 10 minutes ago, so just give me a comment and let me know, all right? OK? okay. See ya. No. She is a piece of work. Jeez, <laughs> She's a candidate, a not a side of beef, guys. She got a good ass, Lee. Right away, she got a hold of All right, all right. No. I mean, she picked up my song fast. Yeah. She was locking in, and she was right on with your kick drum. She'd jump at her. Jump on her. <laughs> snap on her auditions. She had maybe where she's going. Can't wait on this. We got to snap her up. Hell yeah. She's in? She's in? Yeah. Lee. You're in. I mean, if you can. If you want. Okay. All right. See you. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, I, I know he's busy, okay? Well, but if you, if you could just remind him, that, that would be great, okay? All right, thanks. You ready? Yeah. Chestnut. Yeah. Nice. Get your bag. You're a prick, Elliot. I can't use it. I just read that Chestnut's no longer in style. Uh, okay, you know what? Forget it. I'm gonna get rid of everything anyway. Even the birdhouses? Maybe. Hey, I saw that new one. Mm. You just started it. Yeah, well, the last five went to Julie. She still hasn't called. <laughs> okay. No girl is worth six fucking birdhouses. Yeah, well, the last one was nearly perfect. The hole was too small. The birds couldn't even get in. Well, this shows, you know, trying. Forget it. So what about this new girl? Uh, she's a good musician. And? And she's cool and beautiful and whatever. And whatever. Look, I'm, I'm not gonna get involved with my basics. I got enough shit on my plate already. Yeah, you got so much to worry about. Everyone's hitting the road. Yeah, mom and dad going on vacation, me going to work. <laughs> Hard work, hanging out in bars, playing music and getting laid. Being 31, worth three million, second home in Connecticut, huh? You know what, one false move, and I could lose everything. No guarantee I get anything. Yeah, but do you love what you do? Sure. Do you? Don't always worry about making the hole bigger.
Things have changed at the State Fair. Num Sphincter has dropped out. We have the headline slot. You mean we go on first? Last, dipshit. We're the stars. Uh, gets better. Got a call from Haskell Benjamin's office. Who's Haskell Benjamin? Atlanta Records. The guy's a legend. Yeah, I know. The guy started Pavement. He discovered Stone Temple Pilots, Nine Inch Nails. He's interested? Well, you know, I, uh, I sent our stuff out to every A&R guy in New York, and he's the only one who gave us a time of day. What did he say? Was he cool? Well, I, I spoke to his assistant. You know, she got our CD, she got our dates, and uh, look, the point is, you know, is isn't what we said. The point is, she knew my name, I knew her name. We got it in here, you know? Now all we do is bombard him. That's right, absolutely. We just keep calling, we get their asses on up to the fair. When we rock a festival crowd! That's right, and we get signed right on the spot. Hmm? Mm. All right. Trixie better be superhuman. She's gonna get a crash course starting tonight. Hey, sorry I'm late. Hey, don't worry about it. It's not like it's your first day or anything. Right. <clears throat> Rock and roll, boys. Successful tour. And to uh, Trixie, savior, fast learner, and most excellent bass champ. Yeah, yeah. Yes, salute! Yeah. Ah, harsh. Ow. Wow. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. One more thing, one more thing. Go home and go to sleep alone, okay? We leave bright and early tomorrow. Hey, he's cut off. Hey, Leslie, how you doing? It's Frankie. Yeah, listen, uh, I need a big favor, sweetheart. I, I need to borrow your car for a couple of days. Hey, this opening slot thing's pretty amazing, huh? Yeah, yeah, I think it's all gonna work out. Yeah, got a good feeling about it. About, um, four years ago, the band that I was in, just by chance, ended up on the same bill as Soundgarden. Soundgarden? God. Uh-huh. It was like an out-of-body experience. But then after it, you know, we didn't know what to do with ourselves. Started fighting and ended up breaking up like two months later. Okay, all right, thank you very much. I love you too, goodbye. Oh, hey, with this mission cosmoparium broad. Have you heard of Tom Noonan? No. Don't worry, nobody has. He's a performance artist downtown. We've been playing the same show for about two months now, so I'm dying for something new, you know? Yeah. You guys like a creative Jew or something? No. He's, um, my boyfriend. Here you go. Thanks. Hey, Air Force One was in the shop. Don't touch the radio. First gig. You think I'll get laid? What? Break your streak? Hey, gentlemen, don't worry about it. It's a college town. It's gonna be wall-to-wall -wall trim. Trust me. Hello, ladies. I get to Thank you. That last 
Rascal and it was called This Gig Sucks. You suck. Yeah, wheel it over here and say it to my face. Yeah, okay, all right. Nice set up here. What do you say, huh? It's ridiculous. Don't do unplug before you're famous. Come on, Mike. They loved you. You lied to us. No, I didn't. I, I said this crowd would be eclectic and a big turnout. Hello. Big. Half of them are deaf. The other half are in wheelchairs and braces, and every single one of them are gay. Hey, Lee, how about a little political correctness, huh? Some of them are dykes. Are you fucking out of your mind? What? Got them here. Hey! No freebies here, all right? What's going on here? You guys are taking a break already? No, no, no. We were just going over a toast. Yeah, all right. Those dimples won't even save your ass this time, honey. I heard every word. Hey, huh? take it easy there, man. Zip it! Listen, Mama Cass, you signed a contract to provide us with entertainment this evening, and I suggest that you keep your end of the deal. I mean, this gig may be piddly shit to you, but it's important to them and therefore important to me, all right? So I suggest that you get these Hootie and the Blowfish just back out there and you make sure that they are having the time of their life. Because if you don't and you piss off this queen, I will make sure that your next gig will be in the season premiere of People's Court. You got that? I got that, ma'am, and we are on stage in five. <laughs> Careful going home. Hey, no hard feelings, huh? This is what you get, and this is what you deserve. Uh, we a change there, too? It's from the kitchen cook. He thought the singer had a nice ass. Tip job. I thought we had a guarantee. How you doing? Uh, Moskowitz, Franklin Moskowitz. Tony, I don't know what's up his ass, Tony. Whatever it is, it's starting to aggravate me. Oh, yes. One room, two queen-size beds, and a cot. 4726. Yeah, uh, just What's the tax? Yeah, all right. Uh, could you take something out of here? I think I know what's bothering you. Probably not. Frank. Oh, perceptive. No, I think he wants to be just like you, a musician, but he can't. So he gives you something that you don't have mm. business sense. What? Were you sleeping during that last gig? No, you're not hearing me. It's like. You're opposite sides of the same coin, right? Yeah. You have something that he wants and vice versa. Yeah. What do you know? I think it's kind of like us, you know? I have something that you want and vice versa. I do? Mm-hmm. I'm a musician, remember? I love what I do and I get paid for it. That's what you want, right? And what if I can't get what I want? Well, you know what they say. Sometimes you get what you need. Okay, wait, so, so, so what you're telling me is that you have what I want, so what is it? that I have. Hey, we got problems. What? What's wrong? Uh, we're missing like 400 bucks here. I... Sir, we take all major credit cards. Yeah, yeah, I know. Thank you. Uh, listen, I, I don't have any plastic. You guys got anybody? Uh, don't believe in them. Me either. My parents cut mine out. What about Mike? Where is... Uh, uh, I'll be right back, okay? Practice, Mike? This week is a new thing. I guess something you want to tell me. Still stuck the lyrics. <laughs> Don't insult me, okay? Don't insult me! Hey, I'm trying to be positive. Everybody else has been bickering, so now you're working on our first beat. Where the fuck is the money, Mike? Ah, it's the money! What'd you do with the money? Easy, easy, would you listen? I needed to fix my amp before we left. Your ramp? Come on, Mike. You didn't need to fix your amp. Are you kidding me? What am I fucking stupid here? You know what you're doing to us, huh? We get pulled over and you got a backpack full of shit and we're all in the slam picking up, so not just you. Do you fucking get that? If you can go through everything, I'm clean. I decided before the tour I'm done with that stuff. Better not be lying to me, Mikey. I swear to God, if you are lying to me, I am gonna fucking beat you! I'm not! Just don't tell Leo, right? Lee! He... Lee? Lee is the least of your fucking problems. Let Please, Frank! Tell... Yeah, yeah. $400, Mike. $400, man! Come on! All right, listen, if you're clean, you answer me one question. You tell me the truth right now. What made you think you could take our money, huh? What the fuck? And don't give me the amp shit! What? 
out. They were serious. All right, Brian. You paid off? Yeah. And you clean? Yeah. Mikey, come on, man. Are you clean? Are you? I swear, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Uh, look, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, it was my 400, all right? My 400 bucks, you bought it from me, so you, you just, just, just pay it back to me, okay? Just whenever, whatever, no time frame, no interest. Just, just pay it back, okay? And Mike, listen to me now. Don't disappoint me again. I won't. I promise, Frank. Right? Promise? Just like last time. Uh, all right, my bad again. I, uh, I, I, uh, I forgot I took the money out last week. I, I took the 400 out. For what? For, uh, for, for the car. My sister had uh, extra insurance on the car, so I, I took the 400 out. Sorry. 400 bucks for six weeks. Frank, it's a lousy station way. Hey, she was doing us a favor. Oh, no, that's, that's terrific. Maybe the gratitude will uh, well, pay our expenses for, what, two weeks? It's just, you know what, I'll think of something. Just sh shut up for a minute. Where are we supposed to go, man? Maybe I should call Tom. You should. Because of you, we're probably going to have to sleep in this wagon because you lost 400 bucks. You know what, shut up for five minutes, will you? I had enough out of you. Keep your fat claws off of me, okay? You know what your problem is, Lee? All you ever think about is yourself. You don't see the big picture. If you looked around once in a while, maybe we're screwed. No, you wouldn't see that. You know what you'd see? You'd see people are trying to do something for you and everybody else and themselves, too. Oh, uh, do, do for somebody else, yeah. Frank? Knowing you, you probably spent the money on a whore and a lotto ticket. Maybe there's a campground nearby. Not like we have any gear. No one's got any relatives out here? I wasn't gonna say nothing because... Yeah, look, we got no choice. I could call Janine. She, uh, moved out here a couple months ago. Frank, Janine? Are you nuts? We're, we're still friendly, you know, sort of. When is the last time you talked to her? Depends on how you define the word talk. Well, I'm not talking about the time she cracked a pan over your head after she walked in on you porking her roommate. She's still living with, uh, what's her name? Kim. I get it. You broke up with her. Yes. Okay. Well, you know, I, 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 I had some commitment issues, some, you know. But listen, she was always number one right here. Pretty much. Jeannie! Hey, I owe you, huh? We're in a pinch. Janine. Jeannie was the chick before me, dick. Janine, right, I knew that. Sorry, Janine. <sighs> Look, pillows and blankets are in the closet upstairs. Why don't you go ahead and get them, Franz? <laughs> Franz, I tell you, she's, she's good. She's still <laughs> very, all right, you stay, okay. We'll be out here first thing tomorrow. You wouldn't even know we were here. He's a piece of shit. You all know that, right? A cheating piece of shit. Right up here, honey. Piece of shit heard you. Hey, there's no need to hold a grudge, okay? We were going out for three years. What the hell are we doing here? You know, I never had anything against you guys. It's just, it's too bad you still hang out with him. You know, you can't trust a maggot like that, right? Janine, babe, why don't you head upstairs? 
We'll be in bed soon. Just forget we ever came. You know what? I bet he thinks he's gonna get some. Donnie, have you been working out? Lifting weights, anything? Yeah, well, yeah, a little, I guess. No, you haven't. Hey, I work up a sweat on stage, okay? Hey, uh, Janina, why don't you just head on upstairs? You must be exhausted, huh? We'll take care of everything down here. Okay, yeah. I need a hot shower anyway. Good night. Yeah, thanks again. Yeah, thanks. Hey. So you, uh, you know, you, uh... <sighs> All right, good night. So look, uh, crazy shit happens, you know. Uh, sorry, but uh, hey, that's the charm of it, you know. You want a cozy, comfy life, you go work in a bank. You want a little adventure, a little, uh, you know, a little fun, you, you join a band. <laughs> Lee, I'm. Um, uh, Sorry I wrapped you in the jaw. Nah, don't worry about it. I was being a jerk. Man, I was getting some vibes. What did you just say? Uh, no. Nothing. All right, just forget about it. Tomorrow's another day. We're one day closer to that fair. One day closer to Haskell Benjamin. One day closer to, to getting signed. Mm -hmm. All right, come on, get it in here. Come on, come on. One, two, three, rock, rock stars. stars. Hey, Donnie, my drain's clogged up here. You want to come up here and give me a hand? Officially in hell. I'm gonna go uh, puke my guts out on the front lawn if anyone needs me. How's your jaw? Yeah, it's fine. How's your ego? You think he's right? About what exactly? You know, seeing the whole big picture. Maybe. Lee, it's a good thing. Okay, it shows how focused you are. So maybe you lose sight of the big picture sometimes. That's what a shot in the mouth is for. Yeah. I just, I clamp on so tight sometimes, you know? I, I try to relax, go with the flow. It just, uh, it doesn't come easy for me. 
Don't be afraid to let go. Yeah, but of what? And when? Of thoughts like that. Now. <laughs> um, I know how hard it is. We have a lot in common. After all, in bass, your drums, with the rhythm section, we're like yin and yang. Yeah, but it would be the but same. what? Well, it would be the same in any other band. No, it's not. It's not arbitrary. It's not? No. We play well together. Yeah, I guess we do. Yeah. And I think we understand each other, you know? And there's a certain vibe between us. And hey, we even like each other. I do? Wait, come on. Oh, I, I don't want to answer for you. Okay, then answer for yourself. Okay, yeah, yeah. There you, you have it. Well, do you? I mean, do you? What do you think? Well, I don't know. How am I supposed to know? You've got eyes. Yeah, I want to be sure. Is there anything sure in this world? <sighs> yeah, yeah. I mean, no. I mean, look, Trixie, it's just, I just don't want things to go weird between us, you know, like in other bands, like the Mamas and the Papas or, or John and Yoko or anything. Shh. I'm a hopeless semantic. You know that bad thing? Yeah. Well, I've got a feeling that you want to kiss me right now. You have a boyfriend. Do you? I have a boyfriend? Uh, no. Do you want to kiss me right now? Yeah. I knew it. Do you want me to kiss you? Yes. Yeah? Get your shit, we're leaving. Sorry, I interrupt something? What do you mean, we're leaving? Shh, shh, shh. Janine's sleeping. Oh no, we are not. Where are the guys? Fuck them and chuck them, eh, Donnie? I wrote her a note. You wrote her a note? Well, I will. Donnie, it's 3 a.m. Where the hell are we gonna go? We haven't gotten any sleep. Well, I didn't see a lot of sleeping going on. Come on. Play kissy poo in the wagon. Come on. Nice. What does that even mean? What? It's close. Set up. Right away, it's my fault. Look, I apologize for the mistake, but there ain't shit I could do. It's been running at the paper for a week, and the sign went up yesterday. This sucks. Nobody knows who the handy outfits are. And nobody knows who the hell the handy coppers are either. Shit, who the hell you think you are, the Rolling Stones? Hey, this band is very big in New Brunswick. Look, you better roll your ass on that stage and play some music. That's what you better do. I'm a manager. I don't play music. Shit, I want an MC Hammer any damn way. Haskell Benjamin, please. Hey, it's Lee from the Handy Coffins. Is this Sue? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and I, we, we spoke before. I sent some additional uh, tour info and... Let's check. Yeah, oh, oh and I, I sent the CD as well. I think you, you probably already have it. And um, as well as the, uh, the schedule. I said that, too. Lee, we get an avalanche of mail every day. Sorry, it's just, uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm sure it's there somewhere. Oh, hold on, I'm looking. Handy Kaufman's. Wait. I remember you guys. I heard your CD. You did? Yeah, it wasn't bad. I don't remember if I gave it to Hatfield oh. yet, though. Well, listen, Sue, if you could do me a favor here, I mean, this is right up your alley. Wait, I mean, if you could just on, get him to listen to it. Here. Sue, these guys have some potential. Get me tickets to their final show. You're kidding. You're kidding me, right? No, that's what it says. Oh my god, that, that's that's great. That's great. Uh, well, Sue, you're a doll. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Medication. Hi. Would you mind signing my uh Sure. 
Just give us a sec, okay? A prairie fire. What's in it, Trix? Just drink it. Haskell Benjamin. See you at the fair. Yeah. Hmm? Just better swallow, don't you? <coughs> Tequila and Tabasco sauce. <coughs> hey, wait, hey, I got a pen. at the Star Lounge tonight as the Handy Coffins roll in from New York City. We're not from New York City. Hey, big deal. Could be worse. You could say the Handy Outfits roll in from Weehawken. Rock and roll adequacy. Guys, this is not a good review. Does it say what time we're on next? Doors at 8. It's good. Here you go. Enjoy this. Here, color, believe me. Sign a list, lady. Sign a list. What's your name, sweetheart? What's your name? You know, that's on the house. That's on Big Frank. Go ahead. Take it. No, take it. Yeah, every song's a hit. 155 paying customers tonight, 40 CDs sold, and three people who actually wanted to sleep with Danny. One was a chick. <laughs> Yo, Mike was ripping. I never seen him like that. Yeah. Lee, we were tight. Cheers, to that. Mm -hmm. Speaking of ripping it, Mike's in the bathroom still working on the longest shit in ass history. It's gonna reek. Trixie, why don't you slip your matchbook under the door? <laughs> hey, Mike! Mike, did you fall in or what? All right, let's get this show on the road, huh? Been a while, friend. Wow. Oh, yeah. I haven't been out here in a long time. Well, you gonna play it or you gonna just look at it all day? Oh, yeah. Wow. Carl, you ready? I think so. Where'd you get that? I've been saving up for 20 years. Is that enough? Well, you're a little short. I'll tell you what. We got a sale on today only. And why don't you stop by on your way back upstate and I'll have it cleaned and ready to go for you. It's a deal. You do me a favor, you don't let anybody get near her. That's a beautiful guitar. Real pretty. Oh, God, it's so overwhelming. 
here is so overwhelming. Remember when you asked me what I wanted from you? Yeah. We're in the pants again. Okay, who wants breakfast? Huh? I'm buying. Mike, you remember the bijou, huh? Yeah, man, I'm not hungry. Frank, free food? Uh, I got business. Donnie? Sorry. I want to go check out some historical sites. It's a little early to be drinking. It's quarter to noon. Come on. So, how about it? This diner's great. I mean, it's, uh, it's great. Wait, I forgot something. Okay. Okay. I am starved. Tear it up tonight, and then Haskell Benjamin is gonna kill the silence. Can I buddy your bacon? Yeah, sure. Oh, I thought you were a vegetarian. Oh. oh, that's good, huh? That's good. Uh, we got some free time today, and I really want to take you to some place special. Okay. Do you have any idea how old I am? I wouldn't be polite to ask. Oh, then that. Uh, you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Oh, don't worry. It's no place I haven't been before. <laughs> sit in the park, clear the cobwebs. Maybe the muse will come. Hey, don't forget your guitar this time, huh, Mike? Frank. Hey, how'd the uh, writing go last night? Guess what fell out of your bag, Mike? Look, I don't know what that is. Well, it's not the stuff I sprinkle on my fucking pancakes, Mike. Come on. You know I used to go to college here? Huh. Yeah. Not bad. 
Not bad. <laughs> yeah, Mike went here as well, you know? He wanted to uh, keep the band together. And then when I started failing, I decided to drop out of college. He went back with me to Jersey. It's weird you being here. Seems a lot more beautiful. Donnie, is it? Mm -hmm. Well, Mr. Cute Young Thing, here's the deal. See, I got a man in love with me for 11 years and three children that mean the world to me. Hey, that's cool. I won't tell if you won't tell. It's sad. What, the music? Oh, it's beautiful. No, I'm at the church. Oh. Well, I never got any church services or anything, you know? I just went there because it was quiet and I could clear my head. Mm. It's old. It kind of reminds me of funerals or, or weddings, you know? Same thing. Should we go? What could you possibly have to offer me other than a load of baggage labeled juvenile delinquent, slacker? Not enough love at home. <laughs> How many hot older chicks have you tiptoed out on in the middle of the night? It's not gonna make up for your mama leaving you. I mean, maybe we should head on back to the hotel, you know? Get some rest before the gig. It was a late night last night. Yeah. Lee, about last night. It's amazing. A mistake. Okay, this devoted mother and wife. And what are you doing in a place like this on a Saturday afternoon? It's my stepson's 21st birthday, and I wanted to take him and his friends out for a drink, so if you'll excuse me, I'd like to freshen up. Thanks for the cocktail. You lied to my face. To my face! If we didn't have the most important show of our life tonight, I would do to you what I'm gonna do to this. Frank, wait. Look, um, I feel terrible about this mess. Mess? What mess? Look, I promise you. Shut up, Mike. Shut the fuck up. Don't promise me anything. I swear to God, Mike, I'm holding back there to smash your fucking face in right now, man. All right. After the show tonight, we're all gonna figure out what happens to you. Until then, get the fuck out of here. This about Tom? No. God no. Not, look, I don't feel guilty about Tom, okay? I, Lee, I just, I got caught up in you and the tour and the excitement and everything else. I just, I forgot who I was, you know? Well, call me crazy. I, uh, I kind of thought we helped each other remember who we are. I'm sorry. You know, but... One day you're gonna realize that I'm doing this because I really do care about you. You know, my uh, my parents told me that uh, years back and I'm still waiting for the day to come. What a cunt. What? Chick that was sitting there. Oh, yeah, what about her? She wanted me, and I told her to take a hike. She got pissed. <sighs> oh, yeah? Yeah, total bitch. That bitch was my mom, you fuckhead. Ah. Yeah, well, she's pretty hot for mom. <laughs> You know what I love about musicians? 
They're the only people who really understand a perfect moment, you know? Sometimes, and you don't know when, but it just, it happens. The music's going, and you're playing, and everything's working beautifully, and just, time just stops. And all that matters is the music. Just that one perfect moment. Yeah, well, I, I, I kind of thought we had that off stage too. Exactly. So let's not ruin it by trying to chase it or duplicate it because you never can. Let's just see that one perfect moment frozen in amber and be thankful we ever had it. I'm sorry, Mr. Benjamin is out of the office. Oh, great. So, so he knows the concert's at 9 p.m. tonight, right? Uh, South stage? You misunderstand me. Mr. Benjamin is on the Isle of Lucy at a benefit concert. Shall I take a message? Um, uh, can I, uh, can I, can I talk to Sue? I, I need to talk to Sue. She's out of the office as well. Oh, my God. Um, the Isle of Lucy. Yes, he'll be back next Tuesday. So I, I, I guess he's not upstate? He's not even in America. Johnny, you got a second? We'll look these over. Finally. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Uh, these are different than before, Mike. Like, um, that beat. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you'd like them. What happened, man? I could ask you the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> That sandwich is not sitting right. You always ever do it, man. Let me hear the kick drum. Shit, shit. You need a minute to replace that? What's the problem? It's after five. Nobody will be open. Frank! Where am I gonna find one now? I don't know. Just, just find a place. Where? Drum Town? Drums are us? You know what time it is? 22 inch! Relax. This is our night. Nothing can go wrong. Eat my penis! Hello! Come on, I'm here already. Okay. Who the hell needs the drum head? 22, 22 inch. Inch. Yeah. Yeah. You got it or what? Yeah, I got it. Right. 
22 bucks. All right, uh, just, you know what, I, I got a little, uh, just a second. <laughs> hey, forget the two. Yeah? Yeah. You're all right. Yeah. Knock him dead, kid. Will do. It's a good looking suit. <laughs> Thanks. Who's your tailor? Oh! <laughs> them pouring in. This Benjamin guy's in for some show. Hmm. Have you seen him? I don't know what he looks like. Oh, genius. Does anybody? It'll be fine. Hey, Lee, you got a minute? Mike, I can't wait until after the show. I wanted to say something. Um, you know, we've known each other for a long time. I mean, it's weird. We're back here in this town, and even though that was a couple of years ago, you know, nothing's really changed. Hold still. <laughs> you play, I'll sing, let Frank worry about everything else. No sweat. Wait, Donnie, what's gotten into you? You actually sound like a front man. Maybe I never got respect because I never deserved it. You're not gonna get any until, until you respect yourself, Mike, okay? You're not gonna get what you're looking for until you get out of your own fucking way. I still want it all, Lee. I don't wanna give up. You're a pretty good bass player. Thanks. Wow. Does it ever stop with you? <laughs> Cold still. So you wanna make out? <laughs> What? Is that a yes? <laughs> what do you think? I know. The fans, you know, the fame, the lifestyle. It could be real for us. Is that what you want? Money, fame, celebrity? Mike, there was a guy in Seattle who got all that and he couldn't handle it. Stop trying to be a phenomenon. Just, just be a musician. Be a person. I'm trying so hard. You have no idea. Just don't give up on me, Lee. Is there something you want to tell me? I've lied to you guys. You know, I've been stupid and probably would have kept it up, but I got caught. See, ever since I could remember, there's been this wishing that I could be something, you know? Anything other than what people expected. I know all about that, Mike. We've been growing up on the same street since we were five years old. I've tried everything I could think of to figure out who I am. Except to just be who I am. I don't know how to do that just yet, but... You know, part of it means being your friend again. Sorry, Lee. You know what, Mike? There is nothing you could possibly do or say to ruin this night. Yeah. Look at this. Thanks, Lee. Donnie tells me we got some new lyrics. Yeah, they're different. I don't know. I guess I just stepped away, and there they were. Don't ever think you're mediocre, Mike. Welcome 
from New York City. Give them a big Syracuse welcome, the Handy Kaufman! One more. Go, 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 yeah. Somebody 
car. We're coming. Come on. You didn't think we'd miss it, did you? I gotta tell you, for a rock band, you put on a pretty good wrestling match. Are you okay, sweetheart? Nothing broken. <laughs> You're not so hot in the brawl, are you, son? Where'd I go wrong? One son's gay, the other can't fight a cold. Dad, I had 12 guys on top of me. Yeah, well, God help us if we ever hear Elliot say that. Carl. Maybe we should have Lee stay with us tonight. Clean him up. Uh, I'm fine, Mom. Yeah, leave him alone. He's fine. Yeah, they, besides, I gotta go over some stuff with the band. Don't worry about me. I gotta tell you, son. You looked real good up there. You rocked the house, son. <laughs> yeah. It was nice to see you. Make it all the way to the bitter end. Hey, Dad. Remember what I said about finding answers in the church? Oh, Lee, now, come on. It never mattered where. I just wanted you to find some. Ow! Oh, ah. I'm so sorry. Now, will you two break it up? He doesn't want the band to see him like this. Doreen, come on. So this was the state fair, not the county fair. Not only did we not get paid, we owe eighteen hundred dollars for repairs and damages. What about Benjamin? Was he here? Did you hear what I just said? We are in debt. We have no money. We are broke. Lee, did you see the guy? Listen, I'm this fucking guy. <laughs> You're unbelievable. You know that? We got a one-track mind. Benjamin, Schmenjamin, I got to come up two grand over Could here. You all just listen to me. Did here you for... talk to the guy or not? never gonna be here. That, that's not true. Up until this morning, all the news I heard was good. How could you do this? We were counting on him. Me? Music biz people. Should've known. Oh, come on. Would you listen to us? Like we deserve something. Like, like he owes us. We needed him. We wanted him. There's no difference. Yeah, there is, Donnie. Hole in the birdhouse isn't gonna get any bigger, guys. What the fuck does that mean? It means I figured it out. I'm done. It means... It's over. Okay. What is this? It's called seeing the big picture, Frank. Remember that speech? I mean, come on, guys. We've been doing this for four fucking years. And we've taken it as far as it'll go. You know, I've given it my all. It, it's time to move on. I don't need this anymore. After tonight, I'm out. 
I just figured it out. Your dad was here, huh? The old man comes and dumps his crap in your mouth, and you're gonna puke it back up in my face, right? Is that it? No, no, it's me. You wanna quit? Well, fuck you, man. <laughs> fuck me? Why? Because we gave it our all and that wasn't good enough? That, that's my fault? What we got is not enough. So be it. We, tr we tried. It's chance. Look, if he wasn't at this show, maybe he'll be at the next show. Or the next show, or the next show, or the next show. Dude, drummers are a dime a dozen. We'll get somebody else. Hey, don't be stupid, okay? We'll just, uh, figure something out. You too, huh? You know, Donnie, there's a couple things you don't know about. You know that? Right, Mike? My whole fucking life is in this station wagon. This band. All of you guys. I've got nothing else. It can't end. If this goes away, so do I. Game over for Donnie. Hey. Um. I wanted to give this back to you. No, it's yours. You can't have one without the other, huh? Bass and drums, rhythm section. We did play well together. Yeah. At least we got that right, huh? the Handy Kaufmans. Huh? I saw you at the fair. Our condolences. How are you? It looks like you got hit a few times. I'm Sue. Sue. Front row, we spoke. Haskell Benjamin's office. Mm-hmm. My God, you saw the show. You saw the show. You guys were great. You liked it? Yeah. I mean, the crowd was out of control, but what was that song? It's not from your CD. It's a new one. Yeah, it's, uh, it's gotta be one of Mike's best. I have to see more. Oh, uh, well, tonight we kind of... We kind of decided to figure out what we're doing when we go back to New York. We're gonna, we got big things on the horizon. Great. Hey, Lee, I gave Haskell the CD. He likes it. He set me up here since he was going out of town. He'll definitely see you when he's back in New York, when you play again. The Handy Kaufmans will play again, right?
I woke up this morning lying there with a note. Sorry, I gotta go. Happy birthday, it said. I just don't know anything. <laughs>